Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to Transport Fever 2. This is the Longland map. And yeah, last time around we were getting some more passengers online. And now we've got a pretty solid uh, earnings going on here. Uh, if we look in, in here, uh, we have uh, no loan and we have 3 million in uh, cash. So we can uh, definitely go ahead and start doing something a little more, um, well, uh, complicated right uh so what i want to do is i want to start setting up some some uh, cargo freight cargo freight yeah um as opposed to cargo passengers apparently uh right uh, so i want to start setting up some freight lines uh now i had identified that we have these uh sawmills over here and we have these uh forests over here in nowhere right um, and we can, we can go ahead and actually, these should be close enough that we can collect from here and drop them off over here. Now these four forests will su sustain two, uh, sawmills, right? So, uh, what I, I want to do, uh, I think, I think I can get rail to each of these um yeah let's uh let the clock tick a bit here uh right now yeah the date's moving okay now we want to do this by rail so i'm going to go in here um now we could look at these um uh, flexible uh, platforms uh, and stations uh, that I've got and they might be worth doing up here uh, they might because they can conform to the slope right let's um let's turn the ugly on here and we can't see anything useful through the trees um, okay well, we'll turn the contour lines off then. Uh, right. Well, let's see. Well, over at the end here, I think we can get away with a single track cargo station, which will plop in right about here. Right, yeah, I think that'll work. So that'll be Nowhere Forest number eight. Right. Forest number eight. Yeah, okay. Now, uh, we need to also have one at each of these uh, forests. And I think we'll come down over that way. So we'll just run a line through this way, right? Okay, well, I think we'll put a single track uh, station at each of these. Like, like that, yeah. And then, uh, like that. And then, um, Oh, that one's going to be uh, slightly challenging. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's see. Uh, well, this can be off to the side, right? So... What if we wang it around and put it here? Yeah. Uh, that will probably work slightly better okay so we got our stations there so that's nowhere forest i'm just calling these after the uh, industries so that uh, i can find them right so it's clear what's where forest number six Uh, 
Now, if anyone is actually watching this and actually cares, you know, if you if you want, submit names for uh, the industries, and I can change the names. Now, we need to get from here all the way around through to here, and then down to here, where I'm probably going to put a larger. Um, I wonder if I can get a large station in here that covers all four of these. I wonder, maybe I can, with strategic roads in there. Yeah, let's um, let's try that. And we're gonna need. I'm gonna need to uh, send product out from there to a couple places. Uh, probably and I have probably yeah well let's um let's put four tracks and we'll make it 320 meters uh, right off the bat and if we put it over here are they close enough to get in range of a with a road uh, I'm going to actually find out. Right, so we'll grab a small country road and we will uh, come. No. Come up. No. Come along here. We got tendrils there. And, uh, right, so we want to also tendril into there yep so that would come down around here uh, more like that actually then do we get tendrils there we do and then we can come up to here yeah and then if we Bring this around. Uh, we get we get a tendril there. Okay, now uh, let's uh, let's go back to our uh, train station. Um, we can get da. Ah! We can get three of them in there. Uh, okay. But we can't get the fourth one in there. Okay. Well, I want to try something here. Uh, let's, um, build... No, that's the cargo platform, yeah. Let's build a long cargo platform no let's build a no yeah let's build a long cargo platform here uh, go like this and like this maybe now I'm not sure if that gets in range where do we need to be to get in range We need to be there. Okay, yeah, that'd be fine. Uh, okay, so we're going to need a track on there. Oh, right. Uh, I need to know where we need to be to get in range at the other end. Uh, we need to... Okay, that's about where we need it. Okay, so we need to... There... And there, okay. See, what we can do with these is Uh, we can go back in here, and grab this, and do this. So it looks a little less bad. Okay, so this is going to give us 
a long uh, platform. Um, now, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to split this platform in the middle. Uh, yeah, uh, so I'm going to do this and this. And hmm, yeah, I'm going to uh, in the middle is definitely fine. Um, yeah, because if I do that, I can have two platforms for the price of, uh, of, of one, right? Um, right, so it just has to be the same station. So if we break it here, yeah. I, I'm uh, showing all of this just because it's, uh, it's a little bit, uh, uh, extra, um, you know, chaos here, right? So we do this and we do this, right? Okay. So we have those platforms, right? Yep. And whoops, no, we can, yeah. Okay, and I can uh, do this. Okay, so we can do this. We can bring a... Uh... Yeah, we can bring a uh, bypass track around there. And uh, actually, we can bring two bypass tracks around uh yeah okay i think that gets us then we can come in this way in here and we can go out this way and come this way in here and we need one of these Um, yeah. Okay, so then this can come around this way. Yeah. Okay, so that gives us uh, the platforms here. Um, and then we're coming off going out this way okay so this should be the main tracks okay so we'll send those out that way these can come up here right yeah so if we come up to here and then we can link in yeah like that okay then we can have a crossover here yeah okay i think that gets our uh, track plan working here now how bad is this this is tolerable okay right so I'm going to go away and set up the actual station and I'll be back after I'm done with that. Okay, I'm back. Uh, we have the uh, station created, Castle Rock Sawmills. Uh, and as you can see, it highlights all four uh, sawmills here. And that will allow us to also add a couple more platforms for uh, cargo pickup when we are ready to do that. Now we need to go up over here and get our 
rail connections coming down. Okay, so uh, we're going to what? Hello. There we go. Uh, right. Okay. I had clicked on a thing and I shouldn't have clicked on a thing. That's what that was. Okay. So we need to come around here now. Can we? Yeah. Okay. We can get down here, but we're not going to run through the platform there. Uh, we're going to run beside it uh, down from here. Now we only need, I think, one track up to there. And then at this point, we'll... Uh, start double tracking for multiple trains so we're going to come down also through this one so like this and it will come up to here yeah i think that'll work okay and then where is the there it is and this will connect also around like that right now, up here, we're going to need a, a crossover here. Now, we just need the one direction, though, uh, as well. Well, no, we need the two directions here. Uh, yeah, we need the two directions. So, uh, we'll put the crossover there. Then, over here, we will also need one. But, exactly how this sets up will uh, depend on how we get down the mountain here. Because um, I think we need to come around this side. Um, okay, so if we go through here, um, uh, right. Because we can't connect onto here. Um, I think maybe that should be. Uh, maybe this one should be on the side there. Buildings. One. Maybe I should stick it here. And if I stick it as far this way as we can, yeah, okay. Now, let's see if we can actually, ah, good. There isn't too much slope. Uh, good, we can actually do it that way. I am pleased with that result. Okay, in that case, then we just need to do this. Yeah. And then down here, uh, this needs to come across, right? And then we need to get down to here. Now, uh, how are we going to do that? Well, uh, we will start with bringing this out this way and we have a tunnel how bad would the cut be uh pretty substantial um okay uh so if we came around like like this um let's uh get the clock moving uh right let's look at the uh, contours here um, no, this needs to be going level at least. Um, okay, so I think we definitely want the tunnel there, but not right there. Okay. Well... Um, 
Okay, the contours aren't helping. There's too many trees in the way. So if we come out from here, uh, level like that. Yeah. Okay, we do that. Then we put that in. And now we can do whatever needs doing to get down the, uh, the mountain. Now, do we just come straight out that way? I think we do. Yeah, gets us out of the trees. Uh, no, we don't come straight out that way. Okay. Uh, so we need to come down uh, in that direction right so kind okay we got maximum down bubble here gets us down to there yeah but if we came across to here yeah that would probably be better we get a viaduct in there though Oh, we can make it into a, uh, you know what? We don't need to tunnel that. Uh, it costs more, but uh, let's just do it that way. Now, what happens if we just wang this across here? I think that works. Yeah, I think it does. It's attached to the wrong track though yeah and we need 600k to build that um uh, yeah so that'll that'll pop up in a bit uh now we could grab a loan we could grab a loan or we could just wait for it to tick up and then build it yeah okay now that's going to give us, well, that gives us our track at least. So uh, we'll be able to collect our uh, logs and bring them down the mountain or hill into the processing location. So, right. Um, we're going to need at least, uh, just in case you're wondering, we're going to need at least uh, four more drop-offs. Uh, so uh, this complex will probably get bigger. Um, right. Okay. But it doesn't necessarily have to be the same station for all of it. Uh, but I made this the same station on the drop-offs just so that it would cover them all, right? Um, right, okay. So we're going to need another track. What's that going to cost? So we come down this way. Yeah. All the way down this way. 516. Well, we have built the track. Okay. We need to go up here and do some uh, adjustments. That needs a double slip. This needs a double slip. And that doesn't. Okay, now we also need a few signals on here. Uh, we absolutely need these signals. Uh, we're going to need a uh, non-one-way one over here. Um, yep. And then, whoops, no, signals. Then we're going to need a one-way one facing here, right? Uh, we'll need one a set of those there. And we'll need, at minimum, a set of these here. And then we'll go down here. And we'll definitely need one of those here. 
uh, one of these here, one of them here, right? And we'll need we'll need one of these here, right? Uh, we shouldn't need uh, signals on here. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to put a pair of signals here uh, just because we could have some busy traffic there. Uh, I'm going to put a few signals along here because we will have at least four trains running along here. And I want to minimize the delays. Uh, when we get to later time periods, it will just be four trains. Um, we'll put, we'll have three trains through here, and we'll have two trains through here. So, yeah, we'll put a couple there, and just the one train going back to here. Okay, that gets us uh, the signaling in, right? Now, the other thing that we need is a depot. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put it off the back of the station here. I think we can do that. We can. Now, if we bring this out level, yeah, like that. Uh, bring it out like that. Yeah. Then we can go into buildings, grab one of these, stick that in there. Yeah. And then we can go ahead and uh, put a signal here, I think. Well, let's put signals here, just on account of because. Right. Okay. So that should uh, allow us to fling trains through here you know if i put a couple of uh, non one-way signals here that might help the depot exit um right okay now we need to buy a train uh, now locos we have we have the general which is 130 kilowatts, 40 kilonewtons, 30 kilonewtons, 26. I think we'll go with the general. Okay, so we'll add a uh, loco. And we're going to need, uh, here, we're going to need flat cars for the, uh, the logs. That one carries 7, 7, and 4. We'll... Uh, that one's shorter. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Five cars gets us 35 capacity and it's mediocre. Um, and it's still mediocre with 56. No, we won't go up that high. So we'll we'll take a, a capacity of 84 and a length of 100 meters, and we'll see how well that does. But we do need uh, three million to buy that. Uh, I could just I could borrow it. I should just borrow money. Um, let's borrow the whole loan. Yeah, and then we'll go back in here and we'll buy one. Okay, now, uh, what are we gonna do? We're going to fling it at the line. So it's a new line, and you know what? We're gonna fling it at the furthest one, and we're going to drop it here, and I think that is acceptable. Uh, so uh, we're going to, I'm gonna pause it here. I'm gonna this is going to be cargo rail. 
cargo train and it's going to be from nowhere forest eight to castle rock okay uh okay no i'm not going to put the castle rock part nowhere forest eight supply no collect collector yes it's a collector that's what it is good now what we're going to do is we're going to jump in here uh, and we're going to ride this why are we going to ride this just because oh and by the way if you can hear that in the background that's just the cat um, so we're going to ride this and just see how how this uh, looks so we come here into our uh, platform See, and here you can see how these uh, other uh, um, train stations, this mod, uh, allows you to have slope stations and all of that jazz. Uh, and that's, uh, that's kind of why I uh, went for it. Uh, it's, uh, it's actually quite a uh, useful one. Uh, so we're going to... Uh, chug along here at a relatively uh, slow pace because it's the 1860s and we have well weak engines but we're going up the, the hill empty and uh, that's why i was kind of okay with doing it this way if we were going up the hill full we might have wanted shorter trains As even here, we're, uh, we're struggling up the hill at uh, 10 miles an hour, right? Which is fine. You know, this is freight. Uh, it doesn't care if it takes an extra, you know, hour to get from destination to destination. The freight itself doesn't care. Okay, and we uh, trundle past the first station. And then we come up at the second station. Actually, this looks kind of nice, uh, trundling through the trees here. I'm kind of cool with that. And the third station should be coming up real quick here. There it is. And we come down along our uh, path here to our single track off to the final station which is our destination and we have a stack of logs to pick up and we're going to pick up a full load of 84 which uh, is going to leave a huge pile behind so yeah at this stage we would need probably three trains uh, on each line to do full capacity i suspect um, now I might come back later and, uh, dual track it all the way out there. And, uh, yeah, I might, but, uh, for the moment I'm content with just seeing that this line actually works. And it does does seem to be working. So, yeah, that's good. So there we have our uh, first uh, freight line on this, uh, this map. And, yeah, I'm going to jump out of the train once we, uh, we get closer to the station here. Uh, I think we could probably level that out a bit. <laughs> Because I think we went downhill and then uphill again. Yeah, I could probably... Uh, I could probably run it more direct. No, I'm not going to, though. So we'll jump out of here. And I want to see... Uh, is that... I think that's actually uh, long enough there. So that would be good. 
So we got 1.1 million for that drop off. Right. So uh, I'm just going to uh, plumb in uh, a train on each of those other lines. And uh, that should be uh, that should be uh, all we need to do. Now, if okay, what did I get here? It's uh, details. Twelve. Right. Okay. So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to buy. Uh, a loco, the general, cargo, this one. And we're going to buy three of them. Buy. Yep. Okay. So this one will go on a new line, uh, which will go from here to here. Yep. Okay, and that's going to be cargo train, nowhere, forest, number six, collector, right? And then uh, we'll go in here again, new line, here to here. I'm going to need to waypoint that, I think. Yeah. Um, that's going to be cargo train, nowhere, forest, number three, collector. And we will grab, oh, this one. Um, yeah, <laughs> I assigned both of them. Uh, new line here to here okay and this one nowhere forest collector uh let's spell that correctly shall we nowhere forest call ector yeah okay now uh i need to go in here and we need to grab a waypoint and we'll put a actually we could uh, we could use the signals as waypoints it'll be uh less um uh less uh um well just less uh so this can go to three yeah oh okay i don't need a waypoint and this one can go to four. Good. Okay, it's picking the uh, sensible paths. Uh, right. So let's uh, let's just ride this one. Okay, we're riding this one. We come out around. Yep. And then we wait here. Yeah, because we created a traffic jam launching, launching our trains, right? Um, yeah. Uh, so after this train ride, uh, that's going to be the end of this, uh, this episode, right? Uh, we will have a functional set of, uh, of uh, uh, freight lines going here. And they should carry enough freight that all four of them uh, actually uh, maintain a profit while we're messing with other things. So along we chug up over this hump and then we go down the hump and then, yeah, I could, uh, I could level out parts of this. Um, oh, I wanted to avoid a viaduct. That's why I did that. 
wasn't it? But I could come from the top of that hump straight across to the other bit there and remove uh, a bit of climbing. Uh, I'm not going to uh, at this point. It has too much, uh, too much cost to it. But all four of our trains are going to have the same uh, uh, acceleration and uh, whatever characteristics along here. So once they space out, there shouldn't be any uh, uh, delays just due to the uh, one train being faster than another. So it's all fine. This actually came out nice. You know, I kind of like the cutting here. Now, where are we going? We're going to Nowhere Forest, so we should be pulling in here. And we are. Okay, so we pick up 84 logs. And then we head back down. Right? Yeah, and of course, we've seen this bit of track before. Right? We should go straight through here, and we do. We go past the uh, first set of platforms and we come into our correct platform here. Yep. Okay. It's, uh, it's working. And then we come out of here and we do our thing. Yep. Okay. So far, so good. Uh, right. Okay, we've got a train going in. Yeah, so we're going to have a little bit of queuing there. Where's the other... Okay. Where is the, this one, number eight, number three. Okay, and you are, that goes to line two, which, um, now we go over here, terminals, line four. Line three, line, oh, number eight. Okay, number eight. Okay, that's returning to, okay. Well, uh, I think that's, uh, that's pretty much uh, done uh, what I uh, intended to do here. Now, if we check in on our line uh, stuff here, um, we can see that uh, we don't have any lines that are uh, losing money. Uh, so uh, that's uh, that's actually uh, a quite uh, quite impressive. Actually, uh, it's usually not the case. Uh, right. Uh, okay. So. Our uh, yeah, our our uh, cargo lines are actually um, coming out on top for the moment. So yeah, so we're doing okay. Um, now let's just check in on the industry here. Uh, you'll notice that there's two industry levels for the uh, primaries. Um, I met, I believe I mentioned it when I started. 
but the, the industries, I have uh, doubled the number of industry levels. So I could cut the number of industries I needed to have on the map to uh, do every product to every destination. Uh, and that, uh, so if I did all the calculations correctly, it is possible to have every product going to every destination. Uh, so every demand can be met at least partially on this map. Now, uh, next time around, uh, I might look at connecting these forests up. Um, I'm not sure where this, where the product here goes. Okay, well, we've got some would go here. Here is another set of uh, sawmills. Okay. And we would take some of them here, okay, and some of it here. Okay, so it's definitely going to be a, uh, a logistical complication to take those anywhere. Um, but we can, we could bring it around this way. Yeah. So that'll be the next thing I do is I'll connect it up to uh, the tools factories. Uh, I'll add uh, the other four drop-off platforms somewhere in here and also the, uh, the pickup platform, which will be a long one, uh, maybe two of them. Uh, so we can pick it up to go here and over to the other spot, and we'll do that with the uh, both... Uh, uh, sawmill uh, installations i think anyway that's um that's not a uh, a problem for now so yeah i guess uh i i guess we're uh, we're done for this episode so stay healthy don't let the ongoing apocalypse get you down too much you know there's supposedly some sort of light at the end of the tunnel after all and of course, there's like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell or not, uh, whatever you, you see fit to do. You know, it's uh, not going to bother me one way or the other. And yeah, see you back next time.